everyone, it's Heather Nichols with Paper Tray Inc. and welcome to Stamp Affair 2018. I'm super excited to share one of my favorite paper crafting activities and that's actually making your own handmade paper. So let's walk through the steps on this. We're going to do recycled paper, so really what I'm using is shredded paper that you probably have at home in your shredder. And I'm adding some to a blender full of water. Not too full because you don't want the blender to get choked up. This blender is just an inexpensive one that I found at like, I don't know, probably Walmart or Target. But once you use a blender for shredding paper or blending up paper like this, that's all you want to use it for. So I'm just like literally putting the shredded paper into the water, liquefying it with the blender. And then you can have fun with adding color and I do that by just adding some scraps of colored paper right into your blender and you're literally just liquefying that. So it's really fun to just kind of mix things up and see what kinds of paper pulps you can create with shredded paper and colored paper um, in your blender. So once you get this paper pulp all blended up and it's going to have a consistency of like pea soup or something a little bit thinner than that, we're going to pour it into a vat of water. This is one of those shallow rubber made bins that I filled with water and then I'm pouring a blender full of paper pulp that I just blended. And you're going to want to do a couple blender fulls into this vat. Now here are the tools that you're going to use for paper making and they're pretty easy. You can probably make it with stuff that you have at home. I'm using a frame that has a screen on it and that is called a mold and then I'm also using a frame that's just a frame and that's called a deco and the deco is going to shape the paper the size and the mold is what's going to hold the paper pulp. I'm going to scoop the mold and deco into the vat of water. The mold is on the bottom screen side up and then the frame is on top. I'm going to lift it up and the paper pulp is going to go and get captured on the screen and this is how you're going to form your sheet of paper like this. I let the water drain and I take the decal off and you can see I have basically a piece of paper sitting on that screen. We're going to flip it out onto a piece of fabric and get the excess water out of it with a sponge. You can just squeeze that water into the bin and get as much water as you can out of it because that will keep your workspace dry as if you can sponge out as much water as possible. There's still going to be some water in there but we're going to get it out a little bit later. There's a cloth you can see I have a board and then I have a cloth on the board that's wet and then that's what you flip your paper onto and then when you get the water you, you lift up the screen and you can see the piece of paper sitting there. So this is the basic steps of making paper. Then I'm taking another cloth and I'm going to put it right over the top of that paper and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep making more sheets of paper and keep adding the cloths in between each one. Now the cool part about making paper is you can have really fun with adding glitter and like this is dried flowers which that's what you received in your stamp affair kit is some glitter, some dried flowers um, and also to, to make it a piece of paper you can plant you can add actual seeds into your paper. I like to add it into the vat because then it gets mixed into the paper pulp but you can sprinkle it when it's on the cloth and everything as well. So we're going to make another sheet with all this fun stuff mixed in with the paper. And it's just really fun to experiment with all the different add-ins that you can customize this paper to be what you want it to be. So this one has the flower petals, the glitter, and the seeds in it. So you should, in theory, be able to take this piece of paper later and plant it and the seeds then obviously will grow so this makes your paper plantable. So now when we have our pile of paper done, we're going to get that extra water out. So I'm setting the board. This is something you need to do outside too, unless you want water all over your floor. Outside is the best place for this. So we're taking another board and we're putting it on top of the stack of paper and then we're standing on it to press the excess water out. And after that, what you're going to do is you're actually going to just peel each fabric layer apart. And the, the paper that you laid down on the fabric will stick to that piece of paper so they're really easy to peel apart. And you can either lay them out to dry, like um, my daughter Hannah is here, she's laying them out on our picnic table in the back. You can also hang these on a clothesline and they dry pretty fast when they're outside. Otherwise, 
Otherwise, I usually let them just dry overnight and um, go back the next day. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna peel the paper right off of the cloths. Um, and then you get to see, and it's actually kind of fun because a lot of times the front part of the paper and the back side of the paper look different. There's different parts to it. Once you get all the fabrics peeled off, we are all finished creating our handmade papers. And next comes the fun part of what are you gonna use these papers for? They're gonna be awesome on card projects, on scrapbook projects. You could just use the paper to make like envelopes and different things like that. The possibilities are endless. Thanks everybody for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed learning about making your own handmade paper. I hope you enjoy the rest of our Stampa Fair event and I can't wait to see the handmade paper that you create and share over on the Paper Tray blog.